Tigers, welcome to TNN. My name is Natalie. And my name is Willow. Please rise to respect and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's pause for a moment of silent reflection. Now to cite the Tucker Middle School's mission statement. The mission of Tucker Middle School is to develop independent thinkers who are conscientious, compassionate, and embrace the diversity of the world around them. The challenging and rigorous educational program compels students to read comprehension, write clarity, and use information to solve problems. Here at Tucker, we are a PBIS school. We have pause, pride, attitude, wisdom, and success. The IB trait for March is thinker. We use critical and creative thinking skills to analyze and take responsible action on complex problems. We exercise initiative in making recent ethical decisions. Once again, I'm Natalie. And I'm Willow. Today is Tuesday, March 26th, and day two for classes. Be sure to tune in each morning at 8.50 for news and announcements that matter to you. Happy 143rd day of school, TMS. Here are your morning announcements. For today's lunch, we'll be having a choice of Wild Mike's Cheese Pizza, Wild Mike's Pepperoni Pizza, or a hot dog. And the Grab and Go BA, Char Boiled Chicken Chef Salad. In international news, rescue workers in Baltimore are continuing to search for as many as seven people after a major bridge in the city's port was struck by a container ship early Tuesday, officials said. It is an active search and rescue situation, said the city's fire chief, and the number of missing people could change. Water temperatures in Baltimore Harbor near the site of the bridge collapse are currently reported between 46 and 48 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a dangerous temperature for people who are submerged in it and who aren't prepared for what the sudden exposure can do to your body and brain, according to a cold water safety website from the National Weather Service. In local news, family members have identified a 13-year-old Georgia boy who was killed in an ATV accident last week. Lyndon Phillips was a 7th grader at Wyndham County School in Grady County, which is in South Georgia. Phillips was riding his dirt bike when he was hit by a commercial vehicle on March 18th. Lyndon loved life. He loved fishing and camping, and he loved his family dearly. He will be greatly missed by all, family members said when GoFundMe set up to raise money for funeral expenses. Phillips' friends held a lantern send-off for him over the weekend. And now, the fact of the day. A pin knife is so named because it was used for sharpening a quill to make a pin nip. Weather. Today will be a high of 61 and a low of 52. It will be cloudy. Announcements. Don't forget to buy your yearbook for the 2023-2024 school year. If you have any questions, ask Mr. Medeiros in room B222. It's that time again. The application for the 2024-2025 TMS STEM program is open. Check the website for additional details and good luck to those applying. Well, this concludes your morning broadcast. Thanks for watching, listening, and following TNN. Your student voice of Tucker Middle School. Have a great day and succeed.